Rose Garden Sentiments by Tell It To. Another sunny and beautiful day in the kingdom. It somehow has already been half a year since I started living on the castle grounds in order to attend the Royal Academy. Still, I don't think I'll ever grow used to the view of the majestic buildings and extravagant gardens right outside of the dormitory. And that's not even mentioning the castle itself. The fact that I even got into this school at all is still surreal to me. I close my eyes briefly and take in the feeling of the sun against my face. It's really been getting warmer recently. I guess spring is turning into summer already. Although spring is my favorite season, this year I'm actually not too mournful about the change. After all, this is my first summer living by the castle, which means I'm finally able to experience the famous rose garden in all its glory. Ah, I can smell the roses all the way from here. Without thinking, my steps have subconsciously led me right to the garden entrance. Admittedly, not for the first time this week. It has more or less been a daily occurrence at this point. A nice walk after my lectures are over for the day. Just some good old alone time. Just me and the flowers. Just me and no one else. Well, except He's usually there, I suppose. Okay, if I'm being completely honest, this new rose garden obsession of mine might not be purely about the flowers. A certain prince who seemingly enjoys the company of the roses more than that of humans may have a tiny bit to do with it too. Hopefully he's there today as well. And. Hopefully, he decides to open up a bit more to me today. <sighs> oh well, that may be a bit too much to ask for. But he did let me sit next to him during today's lecture, and even copy some of his notes, albeit reluctantly. I make my way through the garden gates and scan the rose-clad landscape for any sign of fellow human life form. And bright sun, roses, a few small birds playing in the bushes, more roses, dark blue cloak. <gasps> Speak of the devil. As per usual, there he is. A bit up ahead of on one of the narrow pathways, I can spot an elegantly clad figure examining a rose bush. If he cared about his solitude, you'd think he'd know to pick a different time for rose spotting by now. With my choice to always approach him at this very spot and, and all. But who knows, maybe he secretly enjoys the company. Prince Ignatius IV Beaumont. A pompous name that doesn't quite fit his withdrawn character. Withdrawn, however doesn't equate to him being unfitting of his role as the prince. Quite the contrary, actually, as he's level-headed and serious in his studies as well as his princely duties. Should I leave him alone for today? I already bothered him quite a bit during the lecture this morning. Then again, I did want to ask him about the ball. Guess that settles it. I slowly make my way towards him, but he doesn't seem to take notice of me. Greet him. I guess I should just say hi. Greet him like a normal person. I walk up to him and clear my throat so as to not startle him. Ignatius turns to me slowly, as if he's bracing himself, already knowing who it is already wanting to leave. Ignatius, hi! <sighs> it's you. 
again. And what did you call me? Oh, I'm so very sorry, your royal highness. I just wanted to show off my charming friendliness. Make a good, wait, make a good first impression, you know? How is this a first impression? We are in the same classes and have had this exact conversation multiple times before. <laughs> You're right. I scratched my head in feigned bashfulness. I just never know how to act around you, your highness. Sure you don't. <laughs> well, at least he doesn't seem too upset to see me here. So... Another lonesome garden walk today. I prefer to call it peaceful. At least, that's what it's supposed to be. I give him a slight laugh that ends up sounding more awkward than intended. Was that a jab at me for disturbing his peace and quiet? I suppose it was. But compared to the beginning of our acquaintance, he sure is talking to me a lot more these days. Not wanting the conversation to die so soon, I try to come up with something to talk about. Why do you always come here? Why do you always come here after school? He seems surprised at my sudden question. I enjoy how calm the garden is. Well, used to be, that is. And I enjoy looking at the roses too, I suppose. What's your favorite type of rose? You seem to like roses a lot. Do you have a favorite type? I know you're just asking that as an excuse to keep bothering me. I want to get to know you. Well, I had to say something to keep you here, didn't I? But I do genuinely want to know more about you, even if it's just about your favorite flowers. My smile just seems to make his usual frown even deeper. Is that so? There's a pause and I almost expect him to turn around and leave. But then... Well, I suppose I could tell you if you really want to know. I think my favorite are these smaller pink ones. They're cold old blush and derive from the rose of Chinesis. I like the modern garden roses too, but in my opinion, these have the most pleasant fragrance. He sure seems passionate about roses. Cute. Hmm? The roses are cute. Oh, indeed. Yeah, um, that's what I was referring to, obviously. By the way, I heard some people talking about you earlier. Hmm? Yeah, they were talking about your supposed musical talent. Is it true that you play the violin? As a prince, you're, su you're kind of made to learn those kinds of things. And I also play the piano. And occasionally some other instruments too. Oh, that's so cool! I only know how to play a bit of the piano and that was difficult enough for me to learn. I can't even imagine learning multiple ones. That's really impressive. <sighs> Do you believe so? I thought that was normal. It's not really not that impressive. Please give yourself some credit. Well, it's not normal, or at least not to the average person. You should really give yourself more credit. It's like you always sweep your achievement achievements under the whole I'm a prince and it's normal rug. Take my compliments once in a while, please. <laughs> oh, I see. I apologize if I have ever given you the impression that I don't appreciate your compliments. Oh? What's this? Are you getting shy on me now? Hmm. I guess he is warming up to me more.
Did you come here to only bother me with your small talk again? Or is there actually something you want from me this time? Right, I completely forgot about the ball in the midst of all my rambling. But really, how do you even bring up something like this in a good way? I don't want to scare him off. Hmm... Well, you know about the royal ball coming up in two weeks? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course you do. You're, you're the prince. The main spectacle. Yeah, about that. I have something to ask you. A students at the academy have been permitted to attend this one, and I was planning on going. I shoot him a grin and am just about to continue when he interrupts me, face emotionless. No. My answer is no. Huh? I haven't even asked you anything yet. So you're not about to ask me to go to the ball with you? Shit. Is he a mind reader? Well, I can neither confirm nor deny. So, I was correct. Hey, I didn't say that. <laughs> You're so easy to read. I'm not. I'm often told people can't tell what I'm thinking at all. That's something else. That's just a nice way for people to say they think you're strange. No need to keep punching me when I'm already down. A rejection would have been enough, you know. Why are you so against going with me anyways? Multiple reasons. And those happen to be... Well, first of all, you're annoying. It's quite evident. And this is just another one of your schemes to make fun of me. What now? Hey, I think you've misunderstood something here. It has never been my intention to make fun of you. I thought that was obvious. It was not. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you got that. I only approach you because I want to get to know you better. I thought that was clear. I mean, I've been told before that I can come off as insincere, but I didn't realize it was that bad. In fact, I thought I was being way too obvious with my intentions when it, when it came to him. I was gonna ask you out for the ball because I wanted to go with you, that's all. Oh. It's... still a no. Hmm. Is he... Interesting reaction? Hmm. That's an interesting reaction. Unexpected, even. And what is that supposed to mean? Nothing. I smiled knowingly at him, but he only seems to be more confused. I suppose he was just surprised I was being genuine. Maybe he's not used to that kind of straightforwardness. To be fair, I more or less asked him out and said I want to get to know him better. Shit, shouldn't I be the one getting, getting embarrassed? I suppose he's too dense to realize the implications of that though. <laughs> That's kinda sad. But you're going to attend the ball, right? Of course. I'm a prince. I'm, I have to go. Ignatius doesn't look too happy about it. A slight frown visible in his pretty face. The exhaustion in his voice also gives it away. You don't want to go. Not necessarily. Parties aren't exactly my thing. They're tiring and I have to talk to tons of barely acquaintances who ask invasive questions. Whoa. This is 
probably the first time I've ever heard him express any type of frustration over his duties. I really shouldn't be talking to you about this. I apologize. Oh, no, 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 no worries. Feel free to complain to me anytime. I won't tell anyone. Ignatius looks skeptical, but seems to decide to trust me on this one thing. Thank you, I suppose. Still, it doesn't concern you. It just slipped out is all. Oh, wow. As cold as ever, I see. And here I thought you were finally opening up to me. I speak with feigned dejection and Ignatius rolls his eyes. <laughs> Whatever. I can't help but chuckle. He's really trying to keep his distance, isn't he? Well, he seems to be fighting against himself at this point. So, what's... What's the royal ball like? I've never actually been to the ball before. What, what is it like? Loud and crowded. For me, it's just an evening full of talking to strangers, pretending to be interested in them and their businesses or whatever. Sometimes I also get forced to dance with the latest eligible bachelor in hopes that I find my perfect marriage partner. That way, as if... His voice is dripping with sarcasm, and I can tell he is dreading the upcoming party. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound too great. It may be more fun for you and our other classmates, though. Because there's no pressure for potential suitors. Mm -hmm. I suppose that was an agreement. I've never had to deal with anything like that. Being a, pre being a prince seems really tough. I mean, of course, I've had relatives fester me about relationships and marriage, but that's how family is, I guess. Just imagining having others try to constantly marry their heirs off to me is making me shiver. Yeah, I don't really like it. To be honest, having someone introduced to me with those intentions makes me immediately lose any type of interest that I may have had otherwise. It's counterproductive and stupid. I can't help but smile. What? Did I say something funny? His confused face almost gets me a chuckle. Gets a chuckle out of me, but I managed to collect myself. No, 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 it's just fascinating how you can call such a highly influential people stupid with a completely straight face. Technically, I call their actions stupid. Yeah, I know, I just really admire your honesty. I didn't quite expect that from you. Well, I guess I can't speak my mind on things like most of the time, as it would ruin my reputation. Aww. Does that mean you trust me? <laughs> Despite the harsh words, there was no bite to them this time. I'm happy you feel like you could talk to me. In all honesty though, I'm happy you find me reliable enough to talk to about this. You know, I always wanted to talk to you more comfortably like this. But it always felt like you were trying to distance yourself. Not only for me, but the rest of the students as well. <sighs> Whatever. God, that we're so stubborn. I won't force you to talk about anything you don't want to. But I feel like you're holding back and enduring a lot of things you shouldn't. I think it'd be good for you to loosen up some more, you know? I'm aware that you're a prince, but princes are allowed to have some fun too, no? I can sense something almost melancholic in his eyes as he averts his gaze. 
most people try only try to get close to me because of my status anyway. There's no point in putting energy into fake friendships. Even though what he's saying is sad, he says it without much emotion. As if it's all facts that he has to, he has long since accepted. Ouch, that's heavy. Oh, sorry, that was insensitive of me. I just don't really know what to say, because I can't deny that there are people like that who will do anything for some status points. But I hope you know that my intentions have never been anything like that. I genuinely want to get to know you as a person, like not as a prince. Yes, I suppose I've begun to realize that. If you were doing it for status or attention, you wouldn't be acting as eccentric and as annoying as you are now. He fails again to make it sound like a proper insult, the tone of his voice not quite matching the harshness of his words. Hey now, that was uncalled for. I'm, I'm relieved he doesn't see me as that kind of person though. Well, up until today, I just assumed you wanted to make me hate you or something stupid like that. Yeah, sorry about that. He returns my light-hearted apology with a small smile. I feel like we're finally on the same page. His change in attitude gives me further confidence. Oh, by the way, about the ball, I might have an idea. What are you plotting this time? Ah, Iggy, you wound me. Always so cynical. Oh no. Secret secret nickname reveal. Oh, that one's gonna cost me. W what did you just call me? Well, that blunder may lead to my eventual death, but seeing him make that face will damn well be worth it. Oh slip up sorry i place my hand on my chest and make a dramatic bow <clears throat> my deepest apologies sir royal highness your excellency prince ignatius the fourth of beaumont i cannot stand you well i succeeded in lightening the mood didn't i and you still haven't left so i can't be that bad I look at him with intrigue and... Is that a smile? As if the situation is secretly quite amusing to him, it looks like Ignatius is unable to keep a small smile from spreading on his usually expressionless face. Seemingly catching it himself, he briefly covers his mouth with a slight cough and rearranges the face back to normal. Hmm, well... Before we get off track, what was this idea you were about to tell me about? Oh right, my genius plan. So, you want to get those suitors off your back, right? It'd make the evening more pleasant for you, no? I suppose that is true. I mean, I have nothing against them. Surely they're as pressured into this as I am. But it is still a bother. You mean you have a way to prevent those types of advances? He looks skeptical, but I feel he already knows what I'm about to say. Maybe I should just let it be. It's not like he'll agree anyways. Ah, screw it. I may as well just present my offer. Well... If you accompany me to the ball, they have to leave you alone. You know, like... The fake dating trope. Ignatius sighs and I grin at him, hoping that my sudden feeling of insecurity isn't visible on my face. <laughs> if only if we're that easy. He sounds kind of sad all of a sudden. What do you mean? You don't think that'll deter them? It's not that. I'm sure it'd work. It's just that, that, you 
shouldn't get involved in things that have nothing to do with you. Ignatius almost mumbles the last words, and I can't quite catch what emotion is behind them. Yeah, <laughs> of course you'd think that. Uh, sorry, it's not my place to meddle. No, uh, he lets out a quiet sound of frustration and takes a deep breath before speaking again. That came out harsher than intended. I didn't mean for it to sound like it's none of your business. What I wanted to say is that I don't want you to get to get involved in things that would just be trouble for you. Or something like that. His voice tapers off as, his, as if he's just admitted to something incredibly embarrassing. Oh, wow. Okay. That was not what I was expecting. Hmm. Are you saying you're worried about me? What? No. I mean... Maybe a little. He admitted it? Rest assured, this is no bother to me at all. It was my suggestion after all. He still doesn't seem convinced. Well, I... I... Don't want you getting hurt. I have managed to keep you at a distance. I don't want that to fail now. That last sentence is barely a whisper. Probably not meant for me to hear. So I decide not to comment on it. Why would I get hurt? I don't understand. Well, you see, people who get close to me end up getting hurt. If anything, he seems like the one hurting right now. It keeps happening. Someone gets friendly with me. People deem them un unworthy of my company due to being of a lower status than I. They get criticized, eventually can't take it, and break our friendship off. Being close to me is not worth it. That's kind of shitty. They left you by yourself just to avoid critique. I'm sure my annoyance is visible on my face. Maybe judging his past friends isn't fair, but seeing Ignatius make such a pained expression, I can't help it. Not wanting to be around me any longer is not their fault. I do not blame them for leaving. Being constantly told that they were not worthy of my company must have been distressing. I don't want anyone to go through that because of me anymore. I always wondered if there was a reason behind his reserved attitude. But to think it was something like this... I... I wouldn't leave you, you know? If we were to be... Friends, that is. I know it doesn't exactly sound convincing, especially coming from me. But... Do I look like someone who would cave in because of some outside pressure? You cannot imagine how bad it can get. Sure I don't. But I also can't stand knowing that you'll spend this evening being pushed around and forced to talk to people you don't want to be with. A ball's supposed to be fun! It's not even just about the ball, is it? I... I don't want you to be lonely, Ignatius. <gasps> hmm? I... I see. For the first time, he didn't correct my use of his first name. Ignatius, you can't show a face like that. It's gonna make me feel embarrassed as well. <clears throat> okay, so how about we compromise? Let's make a deal. 
you let me take you to the ball. We see how I fare, and then you can decide if you want to give our friendship a go. Am I being too pushy? I feel like he might need a little bit of a push, though, to allow himself to put his needs first. <sighs> you don't get it. His face is difficult to read, and not in his usual expressionless way. This time, his face is torn between emotions, as if he can't decide what to feel. What don't I get, Ignatius? I won't understand unless you tell me. You don't seem to dislike me as much as I thought, so why don't you give it a try? And if you decide to prefer things how they've been up until now, we can keep it that way. That's the thing. I will not be able to do that. If I let you in, if I let you get any closer, I will not be able to go back. And when you inevitably realize that the pressure is too much, do you decide to leave me? It will hurt so much more. So please, just let this go now, before I get too attached. Ignatius, I can't help but stare at him, convinced my ears are lying to me. I'm aware that I need to say something, but my brain can't come up with anything reasonable to say back. But he needs me to speak. He looks like he's ready to run away any second. Is it okay if I take your hand? The words leave my mouth before I have a chance to stop them. Uh, he reaches his right hand slightly out towards me. I gently take his hand in both mine and look up at him. He seems to have difficulty meeting my eyes. Ignatius, hey, look at me. He reluctantly peers at me and I try to give him a reassuring smile. It's... It's okay. You can get as attached to me as you want to. It's okay. I'll be here in any capacity you want me to. And I would never leave you because of other people not wanting me to wanting me close to you. I can promise you that. Ignatius shyly retrieves his hand from my grip and rubs his arm. Why are you even doing all this for me? At first I thought you just got a kick out of annoying me, but you told me that's not it. So why? Why do you care so much when I have nothing but were when I have been nothing but rude to you all this time? Ignatius, you do you realize that my whole genius plan was just another stupid ploy of mine to get to you to get you to go out with me, right? Yes, I assumed that was the case. I would not want to go together under such an arrangement anyways. Things like this, things like these should be honest. I can't help but chuckle at this at his sincerity. Slightly relieved to see a glimpse of Ignatius. I am more used to again. Agreed. Honesty is important. So, if I remove all the excuses and say I want to go out with you because I like you and want to spend time with you, would that be acceptable? I... I... <clears throat> I suppose that would work, yes. Are you actually agreeing to go with me to the ball right now? I cannot agree on it. it. I cannot agree on it in an informal manner like this. Confused as to whether I just received my third reject rejection of the day, I watch him look around as if he's contemplating something. Let's 
Let us do it like this. Ignatius bends down to pick up a rose that has fallen to the ground. For a moment, he almost looks unsure about what to do with it before slowly reaching out towards me. Would you do me the honor of accompanying me to the ball? I can do nothing but stare in shock, looking back and forth from the flower in his hand and his timid expression. It takes me a few seconds for the whole situation to sink in, and by then I can't help laugh from escaping, a laugh escaping me. <laughs> Why are you asking me all of a sudden? Of course I want to go out with you. Ignatius pouts briefly at my fit of laughter, but I can't help but smile from a smile spreading on his face. I just knew that you would not ask me in a proper manner yourself, so I took it upon myself. Well, aren't you traditional, Iggy? <laughs> Despite that harsh retort, uh, the smile doesn't leave his face. You know you don't want me to. I can't help but grin when in instead of glaring at me, Ignatius bashfully looks down at the flower in his hand. So, are you gonna take the rose or not? Well, if you insist. Good end. Rose Garden Sentiments. Hello friends, thanks for watching that video, and if you like my voice acting, you can support me by subscribing. Alright, that's it. Bye, senpai!